All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Check it out. I want to share a video here with you guys and start a conversation, right? I've been thinking about what happened here. I've been checking out Twitter, and i kind of been going through, you know, some of the videos, some of the news, some of the pictures and things like that to kind of see, like, wow, what happened here that it went wrong? Now, I don't have all the details. I don't know exactly uh, what happened that led to this confrontation, but what we do know is that somebody got shot and killed. And I think that by looking at this situation, we could learn a lot about daily force. And it's something that I've been kind of striving to some of you guys because I am or I believe that many of you guys don't really know the definition or really how daily force is supposed to be utilized. And here's the thing. I don't mean to upset anybody. You could do whatever you want. It is your life. It is your business. And it, it's all you. Anyways, if you pull the trigger, you're going to be the one responding to whatever situation you're facing. But I think that if we understand deadly force, I think we could, you know, essentially come out of jail, right? The point to have a gun is to protect yourself, but also not to put yourself in jail, right? If you're going to use the gun run and you're going to spend the next 30 years in jail, how are you going to provide for your family? How are you going to take care of your family? I mean, it will be stupid of you to buy a gun and then use it in something really stupid and finding yourself in jail. To me, it doesn't make sense. Before I get into the video, check it out. If you want to support the channel, you know what to do. You really know what to do. I'm going to put it right here. You can support the Jarhead 6 channel by becoming a patron. appreciate my patrons. They are fantastic. You can also uh, become an affiliate uh, or use the Amazon affiliate links. And by the way, uh, Prime is coming up. I think it's the 13th and the 14th. I don't know when I'm going when to release this video. Excuse me. But it's coming up. So obviously use my links down there. It makes the channel a little bit of money. So let's hit the intro and let's talk about this. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to tell you, when I saw this right here, it was pretty disturbing, pretty disturbing. And we're about to see this. We're about to talk about this situation right here. I want you to see this picture. Just look at that picture real quick. Do you see something wrong with that? Do you really see something wrong with that? And you got to think that way when you, you know, when you shoot at someone, because again, you're going to go to jail or you're going to be in trial. And what, what it looks like is, is really bad. You know, it looks like a dude is spraying you with OC, uh, the mess of the OC or pepper spray, bear spray, whatever it is, hasn't barely touched you. And you are shooting at a guy over that. Now, some people may say he's justifiable. Now I'm not going to you know, debate that, really not going to debate that. But I'm going to tell you, I'm under the belief that it looks like this guy using that gun is going to go to jail. And the reality is simple. People disregard this, but, and again, I'm going to play a video. People don't understand that deadly force should be used in the last resort. Last thing. All other means has failed. Everything else failed. Your only choice at that moment was for you to use a firearm. That is how you're going to find yourself out of jail. <laughs> it's pretty quickly. You're going to have to explain why you use that gun. And unfortunately, I see it here all the time, guys in the Second Amendment uh, finding themselves in jail over stupid things, literally over stupid things. So here's the story. And again, I'm just putting a couple videos that I saw here on Twitter. I've been following this story. Obviously, there's a lot more that is going to come into this. But the story is this guy right here uh, that I'm pointing out here with my mouse is arguing with this dude, right? And I'm actually going to, let me put this out of the way right here. And I'm actually going to put it in mute. And the reason why is because there is so much cursing that I don't want that to happen but again you see the guy cursing here at one point this old man is getting in the way as you can see and the dude is telling hey don't get in the way old man don't get in the way old man so this guy is arguing with the other guy apparently the other guy this guy right here is a trump supporter right apparently he is or they're saying that he's not obviously this is a, a confrontation that happened 
uh, uh, doing a protest. And again, there's pretty heater. But the thing about this is that as you see this, keep in mind, the, this guy just walked out of the way, right? So that guy is walking out of the way. And what you're going to see is that that guy is going to walk out of the way in about seven seconds. I kind of count it. He's going to get shot and killed. So, again, it's not going to be the dude that he was arguing with. It's not going to be that dude. It's going to be, I, I don't know, somebody else that you're actually going to see pictures. The first picture that I show you is going to shoot at him and kill him. So, again, if you watch the video, I'm going to link it down below. Again, I don't want to play it because there's a lot of cursing. There's some racial uh, wars and things like that. But if you listen to the video, you could count about seven seconds, and then you could hear the, the spray being deployed and, like, not even a second after the guy's getting shot. So let's go back into the video right here. And like I said, the guy is kind of walking away. You see him walking away right there, right? And as he's walking away, let me adjust my audio. As he's walking away, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. You see the guy right there, right? So that way right there. He dropped. So, again, very, very, uh, we don't know what happened, right? We don't know what happened, and I'm going to come into the picture. So, um, if, if you keep tracking, if you keep tracking on, on the situation, apparently this is where he walked away right there. So, again, he walked away. This guy right here happens to be some type of security guard. So, here's the story on this guy. Well, actually, let me let me come out here. And play this. Let me play this for you guys so you guys could have some context into this. Victim spraying a substance directly at the armed man moments before he opened fire. In this video, capturing the contentious moments right before the gunshot. You can see demonstrators from both sides arguing. One of the men seen here moves out of view of the camera, and seconds later, gunfire rings out. The man falling to the ground, later dying at the hospital. Mm. Our affiliate, KMGH's camera, picks up shortly after. Three individuals lying on the ground. The two to the right have been confirmed as a producer and private security guard from Denver local news station 9 News. A verbal altercation that uh, transpired. Um, firearm was discharged. Individual was shot and later pronounced deceased. Both the producer and security... All right, all right. So here's the thing. Essentially what happened here is that... Uh, the producer of the channel is obviously they out there covering this protest, covering the stuff, right? And as they go there, obviously there's a lot of, uh, of people there committing crimes, right? They're not peaceful protests. There is peaceful, I guess, in a way, in some places, but not all the time. So they have to bring, as we know, they have to bring security. And that guy happens to be a security guard uh, for this company. So, again, at some point, I don't know all the details. On this, but at some point, you see the guy kind of walking to the side. According to the video, you saw him here. He kind of walked uh, walked away. Let me let me put it here again. Uh, he walked away, and as he walked away, he got shot right there, right? Pretty, uh, I mean, pretty crazy, right? So, again, I'm assuming, and again, I want to talk about this one because right here, I think you could learn a lot from this uh, case right here. And, again, let me apologize about that. I didn't put... I didn't put the, the picture. So let me go back again. So again, you know, as as the guy walks out, let me say what I was saying right here. Again, as the guy walks out right here, you see him walked out out of the picture, out of the picture, and now he falls right there, right? So as you see this picture right here, I'm assuming that this is the part where he walks to to face this guy. And again, there is some type of confrontation because if you see this picture right here, they're actually, you know, hitting each other. So Again, you know, some people are saying that he just slapped him or whatever. It, it looks to me like they they going at it, right? It's not just uh, the the Trump supporter, whatever happened to slap him. It looks to me like they went at it. You see the guy with the, with the mask has uh, his hand uh, extended, like he's trying to grab him or whatever. And then again, this guy just slapped him. So um, it it doesn't look like it's uh, an uncommon reaction. If somebody grabs you, you, you know, there is a chance that someone is going to slap you that's, or push you away or something like that. But here's the thing. Here, this is what happened. And this is what, when I saw the picture, I was thinking to myself, wow, man. So now you have the guy with the pepper spray. And if you notice, uh, the beginning of this video, right, let me see if I get him right here. 
Let me see if I want it. He's still holding the pepper spray someplace around here. He is holding. Okay. You see him right there, right? He's holding the pepper spray right there. And in fact, in the video, you hear the guy saying, go ahead and mace me. Go ahead and mace me. So, okay. So now the dude is actually deploying the pepper spray. And as he deploys the pepper spray, which again, in the video, you can see that, you see this guy shooting. Now, I don't, I mean, it looks to me like it's, it may be like a Glock or something. I may have to zoom in a little bit into it. Let's see in this picture. All right. I don't know what kind of gun it is, but obviously it is a pretty tricked out gun, right? It's, it's maybe a Glock 19 or something like that. It has a light, a weapons mount of light. It has an RMR Trigicon, what it looks to me like it could be, or some type of optic. And it even has high size that kind of co-witness, most likely co-witness with that optic. The point to this is that this gun that this dude is having, I know a lot of times we get into like, what's the gun is going to be taking, you know, was the gun being part of uh, uh, out of the case or whatever. I I'm not talking about that, but what I'm saying is that this dude knows what he's doing. When you carry a gun that is like that, it may indicate to me that you are a well-trained individual. It may indicate to me that you're not a newbie. You're not a new guy. You you done this for a living. You know what you're doing. And again, he's a security guard. And the thing about this is that when you become a security guard, there's training you got to do, guys. This is not something that you just do. There is, uh, uh, at least here in Florida, you have to get an armed security guard license, right? So you have to get this license. You have to go through the state and you have to do all this. Now, I don't know what you got to do, I think, uh, in, in this location, but I'm sure you have to do something. I'm sure it's not just like, get a gun and whatever i'm sure the state regulates all that because the state love to take your money so again i'm sure it's that so it looks to me like this guy is a well-trained individual this guy has a gun that indicates that he knows what he's doing right this is not a crappy little gun this is a gun that he knows what he's doing and this is what we got here and this is the problem that i have with this picture right here look at the distance so you're telling me and again you know you're telling me that your only resource or, or the only thing you could do at this point is to shoot at this guy. So here's what I wanted to do because some of you guys get into this conversations. You know, some of you guys are going to say, well, you know, I'm not going to let anybody spray me with OC. I'm not going to let anybody do anything to me. I get that. I, I totally get that. But what I want to do here is to look at a situation with, you know, the way that they will look at the situation. I want to be like the devil's advocate, if you want to put it that way, right? I want to look at a situation and be like, what do you think is going to happen out of this one, right? Because I want you not to go to jail. So, you know, no one has the right to attack you. No one has the right to slap you. No one has the right to spray you with purple spray and all that stuff. But you got to understand one thing. I don't want you to go to jail. And the court will look at every situation and will decide if you using your gun was the last thing that you could have done. You know, a lot of people get a gun and think it's the first thing. A lot of people get a gun and think that, okay, now, now this is my first tool. Even though you're carrying a gun, that is the last tool in your tool, back, uh, tool belt. When you pull that one, everything else fell. When you pull your hammer out of your tool, uh, tool belt, I mean, you, you went through everything else. And that's kind of what I'm trying to make some of you guys, you know, realize. Because, again, you know, what's the point here? You take a gun out, you shoot somebody, and you're going to go to jail? Who's going to feed your family? Who's going to work for your family? Who's going to help your wife pay the rent? Now, who's going to raise your children, by the way? Hmm. You haven't thought about that? So, again, you got to think about all those things when it comes to this kind of situations in home defense. Here, home defense, self-defense, any type of defense. Now, we got a guy here that is supposed to be a security guard, supposed to be a well-trained individual, has a pretty awesome gun, and he's shooting at someone because he's spraying him with OC or bear spray or whatever, you know. And you see here the, the miss. It's not even touching him, and he's wearing a mask. You don't think that's going to play it out in court? Do you not think that someone is going to talk about that? Lawyers will use all that stuff for their benefit, right, to prove their case. A lawyer would take this picture and be like, no, man, you were far away from the guy. You had a mask on. I mean, I'm not in agreement, or I don't think that your life 
was in danger. You got to be able to identify that. You got to be able to say, my life was in danger. I had no other choice. I don't know how much I'm going to stress this out, guys. I really don't know. I do it in many videos. So here we go. You know, you got this distance. Look at this distance. Was his life in danger? Was Did he have nothing else to do? You know, if you get sprayed with OC and a guy is on top of you, banging you in the face, hitting you in the face, kicking you in the face, trying to take your gun, that's something else. But what we have here is a guy just spraying you with OC, right? Bear spray, whatever. I call it OC. I've been sprayed like six times, by the way. I know how much this thing sucks, right? And I have been able to do a lot of stuff uh, through, through, you know, while this is happening. To me, this right here is going to be hard. It's going to be hard because he could have simply walk away. He's not standing his ground. He's not, he's not defending his family. He's not defending his, his home. He's not defending a car. He could have just tell, what is he defending, actually? He's providing security for the press. He could have told the guy from, you know, whatever news channels, hey, man, we got to move out. Move out. And, again, that's just how it is. And if you look at the video, again, if you look at the video, you saw, and I counted, seven seconds Seven seconds from the time that he moved out of frame from the time that he got shot. So, again, seven seconds. Could it not be in a conversation? Could it have not been verbal uh, verbal commands? No, none of those things were in place. All you hear is seven seconds. You hear the, the, the spray being deployed, and boom, that's about it, right? If you go back into the pictures, let me get the pictures right here. Here's what you see. Took him out. One shot. That's it. I mean, pretty, pretty crazy. The guy walks in, make contact with this guy. By the way, this guy is already in some kind of position. If you see him, he's kind of like in a position to, it feels like he's in a position to draw up his gun. Like he has his hand down about to grab his shirt, you know, kind of like lift up his shirt. He has one foot back here, kind of square. I mean, like he feels to me like he's in about a position to draw his firearm. Uh, they get into some kind of argument right here, right? He tried to grab him, whatever. He gets slapped in the face. Boom. There is a distance. So, obviously, after they, they came into this position, obviously, they, they walked away from each other because they in the next one, they are not close no more. And instead of walking away, what you see is a round being deployed and the guy being killed. Pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy. You see the guy right there. Now we got a guy here on the floor that was taken out. And, again, very, very crazy. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about this one. Really tell me what you think about this one. This one's pretty pretty intense to me, very, very intense. But I do think that there are some things that you could learn from this. I really think that you could uh, look at this one and analyze Daily Force and analyze, you know, what he could have done better in a way, right? Because, again, to me, this one has some major issues. And it's unfortunately that somebody got killed and, and died, you know? That's not what we want to see. And hopefully, um, you know, hopefully this stop because it's kind of sad that we're seeing this in our country every single day. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.